after further inspection, and I will make this in the notes, you will not, I repeat, will not ever have to remove the heat pipe. I forgot about this in the last time. The chassis screw up in the top core, corner underneath the heat pipe actually helps hold on the PCM CIA cover so that it firmly slides. So don't remove this screw underneath. Leave the heat pipe alone. I will repeat that in the documentation as an addendum. Okay, I want to point out a couple of things. The main board is not seated completely in there. Some things that you'll have to consider is first, the serial port is by far the worst to slide in there. So you want to go ahead and try and get that in first. Uh, that will also ensure that the PCM CIA button for ejecting your cards is properly aligned, otherwise it's going to jam up against the, the, the door slots. Uh, in addition, when you do that, the main board won't want to go down right away because the audio in and out will be resting on top of the frame. You're going to want to gently use your fingers to pull it back from the bottom of the frame so that you can gently get those in there. Also, things like the microphone, the power, the uh, uh, telephone, uh, the, for the, the, the modem adapter for the telephone cord to just plug right in, and even the power uh, switch, uh, push button. They do not need to be in place at the time. Don't forget, do not let your speaker cord get tucked underneath the board, otherwise you're going to have to take the whole assembly out and put it back in again. So once that's done, you can go ahead and just gently move this into place. And voila! There is... I think my speaker moved underneath the board while I was working with it. So again, you need to be careful of what you're doing because everything doesn't always work the first time. And I was correct. The speaker had shifted. So you might even want to go ahead and put a dab of glue on that or some sticky double-sided tape or something to keep it in there because it just comes right out. And it has to get threaded through the channel of the battery door. By the way, with my Coke, I actually had to remove these screws and clean that out further. So that was the root of my problem. Go ahead and turn this again. Serial port in first. Pull some of these little miscellaneous parts away. Make sure your speaker is out of the way. Slide that down. Rests in there. Pull on the top. So it can gently go in there. And something I failed to check on was, and it should be fine, is my serial port. So let's disassemble it one more time. Remember, the underneath of the board is the worst of the place that you will run into when working with this. And my serial port is fine. So let's go ahead and try it one last time. The third time's charm. Serial port. Plugged in, bottom of the board. Remember, this just pulls away, so you want to make sure it's on the tight. Serial port, pull the power connector out. Make sure the speaker cord's there. Pull that away. Pull up on the top, push down, it snaps into place, and it's perfect now in there and it is only attached remember I'm going to put in my addendum it's not necessary that you remove the heat pipes at all it actually connects with one screw in the middle of the board
after we're done going ahead and screwing this back in, we'll go ahead and put these back in place where they belong. There are slots to make sure that they properly line, align and fit in there. The power connector doesn't. We'll also go ahead and we'll be putting the batteries back in. And we'll be putting the infrared connector for the keyboard back in. In fact, let's do that first. Because, flip up the little door. Put the ribbon in. Again, you may need to push it in there a little ways while holding it. Snap the door down. It's now snug. And you can go ahead and reassemble. Put that screw back on there. Ta-da. I'm putting the batteries back in here. This vent down here, you could use that as part of, uh, if you're doing any modifications to access the secondary USB or the Ethernet port, etc. Uh, the batteries could obviously, you know, they may or may not be able to come out permanently. Um, I'd have to read through the technical reference again. The technical reference does not explain anything about the disassembly of the unit. 